Well, once again, I can't stop talking. And this video right here is a reply to kids having sex in school. I don't know how old this video, the original video is, but Bill O'Reilly is pretty much trying to say, well, you know, this is a poor black neighborhood, so that's why, you know, you know, two sixth grade kids will be having sex in school. I think it's totally sad that kids uh, nowadays have no moral backbone. You can have sex in school and the teacher don't find out about it. A little girl was raped on the bus, you know, and the, the bus driver don't care about it. Uh, girl tries to go to the prom and people won't tell her to cover up, but somebody comments and they got to be pedophiles about it. Um, kids having sex in school, it's pitiful and it's sad. Sixth graders having sex in school. And it's not the poor neighborhoods. It's the lack of parenting. No parents. There's no parents. There's no parental advisory at home. You know, everything is learned from what they see on video games and TV. Sex in school. It's pitiful. This video shouldn't have had to be made. And I'm sorry, I feel bad that, you know, you got to comment on some stupid shit. Kids having sex in school. So, um, Bill O'Reilly and this other guy is talking about how bad the school district had problems. And, you know, all this and that with the school district. And it's sad that children in the sixth grade are sexually active. Where do they learn that from? Where do they see this? You know, we have to blame every influence around us. Don't blame these kids. Don't blame their parents. Blame the TVs. Blame the PlayStation 3. Blame the Xbox 360. And blame us for allowing the television and the computers and everything to raise our children. It's about damn near 100 degrees. It's hot. We got fans on in the house. Um, life is pitiful. And, and I mean, it is truly pitiful. You got to report on kids having sex with kids in the sixth grade. It hurts. Well, that's about it. You've been too.